Dave Dugan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can the Secretary of State confirm the amount that the United Kingdom spent on the defence nuclear enterprise in the last financial year 21-22, and the equal but opposite cost of this nuclear expenditure to operational capacity, conventional equipment procurement, investment in service accommodation, and all other underfunded UK defence priorities? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 what we've got to try and make sure is that we do find the funding to fund all of these capabilities, and we've got to make sure that at the time of placing the contracts, we have certainty in the cost overall to make sure there are no overruns. The Secretary of State never answered my question, Mr. Speaker, because he wasn't listening to the question. The answer is £6.6 billion. And that's to fund what we hear as the UK's independent nuclear deterrent. But I have a fairly well honed view of what independence looks like. And it doesn't look like the Secretary of State going cap in hand to the United States to ask them to bring forward their development of the W93 nuclear warhead. Can he explain what's independent about the UK's nuclear dependency on the United States, expect, except the cost in dollars for these weapons? Well, uh, I mean where do I start? First of all, what's independent? Well, I'll tell you what's not independent is placing your contracts from the SNP government in Scotland for your ferries in Turkey, supporting Scottish yards. That's not, that's not very independent. And secondly, the honourable gentleman would know, because he seems to have a real interest in technology development for the nuclear warhead, under the Nuclear Proliferation Treaty, we can't ask the Americans to develop as for us, a nuclear weapon. That is not, that has to be done, sovereignty. So if he reads the nuclear proliferation he'd understand that.